Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I'm going to be doing something interesting. So in my last video, I took WarUR DIY and I made a program to, to convert MIDI's into MIO, the proprietary music format used by the game to create your own custom records. Today I'm going to be taking that a step further because I realized that using a Python script can be cumbersome. So what I did is I made a website in order for you to convert it, and I will link it in the description. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so I have a MIDI input on this keyboard. So this is a Casio keyboard. I got it at the thrift store for like, I don't know, like 20 bucks. And I, I just wanted to have a keyboard as a toy, just... And this is perfect for that. Um, there's these digital audio workstations, which I'm pretty sure Nintendo uses to even to create the music in their games. But in this, this is a this is just kind of like a toy. I mean, I let's be fair. I can't play piano because I don't know how. I mean, I've taken guitar lessons before, but that was like years ago when I was like nine, eight, nine years ago. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm, the MIDI input is connected to my computer running Logic Pro, which is Apple's sound tool, which you can use to create music. It's like an advanced version of GarageBand. It's even on the iPad now. There's also Final Cut Pro for video editing. I'm going to create a MIDI using this, and I'm going to send it to the site, and then I'll import it to the game. And I haven't tried this yet, but theoretically it should work just fine. So, let's get started. All right, let's record. Mm, yep. I'm just gonna play with the keyboard. You can see. The input's coming along. Okay, let's just go with that and see if I can convert it properly. All right, let's listen to the recording first. Yeah, it's playing in my, the notes are playing in the actual keyboard because there's an input and output on this. Again, I don't know how to play the keyboard. All right. So, let's go to export. Selection is MIDI file. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna take the MIDI. I'm just gonna call it Polo, why not? I don't know, it's just the first thing that popped up in my head. Mm. DIY dot RC24. Hello. Give me one second. Come on. Oh, there we go. My thing wasn't cooperating with me. All right. So I'm going to take this MIDI I made it, this beautiful MIDI called polo.mid. Upload it to the site. You download your converter MIDI here. All right, it downloaded the MIO. Now let's boot up my virtual machine because the WarioWare DIY Editor Save Data tool is um, is a Java-based tool, and I just have to do some trickery. Just ignore this part. <laughs> um, okay. It just, Apple's built-in Java runtime just does not want to run WarioWare DIY Editor. So I have to go to the Java. This is a pain in the butt. Configure Java. I just got to right click this. Open file location and what's that for? Okay, right, open terminal. Um, okay. 
Oh, I just turn off the keyboard. Java jar. If you're using Windows, you should be, you should probably have an easier time with this. It's just probably because I'm using a virtual machine. It's more complicated. All right. All right. Let's, let's open up the mid, the save data. Wait, nope. That's Opera. Oh. I entered it incorrectly. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Okay, um, okay. This should be good. Um, which one is it? It's D50. Oh yeah, gotta select the data first. Our data, modify records. There's some glare on this, I'm sorry. Inject D50CC. It called it Polo. Yep. It reads it from the file name. That's what MIDI to MIO uses to determine what the file name is. It reads it from the file name you submit. All right. Now let's paste it into Dolphin. Sorry. I just took the save data and injected the thing in there. All right. Um, turn on Windows Firewall. No, thank you. All right. Fingers crossed. There you go. Let's hope it works. Okay, yeah. Let's compare that to the original track. I think it just jumped up all over the place, but it doesn't sound like a cohesive song, so. It's probably because I'm playing the notes too fast, but still, this shows that it's possible. And maybe it's because of time signature. I don't know. I'm not a music guy. I should have I should have taken music class in school, but I just did other things like art. I took art class, and that's loud. I'm making it faster. So as I said before in my last video, um, conversion is a bit janky, but. I don't know if you're if you're better with piano than me, you can probably make a a decent song with it. Um, by the way, one more thing. It's been ten years ago on this date that We Connect Twenty Four shut down, and we've been here ever since. So thank you for support, your continued support, and We Connect Twenty Four means the world to me. Thank you so much. That's it for this video. Bye.